story, medical marijuana. Today, the Rhode Island Health Department announced three organizations that will become the state's first medical marijuana compassion centers. The dispensaries will open in Warwick, Providence, and Portsmouth. And new tonight, we spoke with residents about pot being grown and sold in their neighborhoods. Eyewitness News reporter Walt Buteau is live in Warwick now with what he's learned. No word yet when these compassion centers will actually be open in these neighborhoods, but we do know that two of the three are tied to some high-profile names. The Summit Medical Compassion Center is financially backed by former URI star Katino Mobley. The family of the late Thomas Slater, who died from cancer, gave his name to the Providence location. Qualified, not connected applicants, according to the Department of Health. And there were other applications that weren't selected that also had very recognizable right. names attached to them. Location, one of the keys. Greenleaf <laughs> and Portsmouth will serve the East Bay. Summit is aimed south, although there were South County applicants. The cannabis Slater's aspect. son, who now serves in his father's statehouse seat, tells us his father would be proud to have his name on a compassion center right in the middle of the highest concentration of patients. I would never want to put my father's name on something that didn't have the highest integrity. It would help cancer patients, glaucoma, and everyone that suffers and needs medical marijuana. On the flip side... Oh, it's in our neighborhood. We live four blocks away. Maria Chacon and others are among the concerned. She lives and works near the Warwick location. Who's controlling it? Who's watching it? Who's making sure? that prescriptions are being filled the way they should be. The answer to all of those questions is the health department. Meanwhile, these uh, centers will be open sometime this year, it's expected. Live with the Mobile News and Walt Uto, Eyewitness News.